the following is most commonly seen in which of the following condition first you have to make the diagnosis whether it is hands or whether it is feet if there is fusion of the digits happening this is syndactyly so this is a patient who's having syndactyly fusion of the digits this syndactyly is called as bilateral syndactyly bilateral syndactyly now the question arises which of the following conditions is associated with bilateral syndactyly? Remember, let us go one by one. Trisomy 18 stands for Edward syndrome. Trisomy 18 is Edward syndrome. These patients have overlapping digits, but they do not have fusion of the digits. They have overlapping digits, but they do not have fusion of the digits. Plus, they are also found to have an abnormality called as strawberry skull. We are not talking about strawberry tongue. That is in Kawasaki. Strawberry shape of the skull. So if they say overlapping digits and strawberry skull along with rocker bottom feet, these are the key words to identify a patient of trisomy 18. So trisomy 18 not associated with syndactyly. So this cannot be the answer. Then we have Zellweger syndrome. What is Zellweger syndrome? It is a paroxysomal disorder. We are doing a quick review of these syndromes also because if you look at the PYQs, you will come across these options in some of or the other question. A paroxysomal disorder. Zellweger syndrome is characterized by a group of things. First of all, they have mongoloid slant of eyes. What is mongoloid slant of eyes? Lateral canthus at a higher angle than medial canthus. So just like Down syndrome, they have dysmorphic facials. So Down syndrome like face is found in Zellweger syndrome. Not the same, but similar face is found. Dysmorphic facials is there. Secondly, these patients are found to have abnormalities of bones. They have a thing called as chondrodysplasia, chondrodysplasia punctata. So dysplastic changes happening in the cartilage and the bones. And particularly, which bone is affected? Patella is the bone which is maximally affected. Patella, we call it as stippling of the patella. They are also found to have cirrhosis of the liver. They are found to have hypotonia. And they are found to have increased risk of polycystic kidney disease. Polycystic kidney disease. Polycystic kidney disease. Lastly, they may develop cataracts as well. That is why because of these features, Zellweger syndrome, another name in the exam, it is also called as cerebrohepatorenal syndrome. Most of these patients have developmental delay. Most of these patients have developmental delay. Most of these patients have developmental delay due to white matter damage. Ar Arhan Khan is saying, sir, dog tutorial chhod rahe ho kya? Bilkul nahi. I am taking the session on dog tutorial channel and you are asking me dog tutorial chhod rahe ho kya? Someone is divorcing his wife. Would you think that he will be going to an Oscar ceremony holding the hand of his wife? No, na. He will be going alone. So, or a girlfriend if they are breaking up. No, absolutely not. I am very much a part of dog tutorials and don't fall prey to any of the rumors. I am a part of dog tutorials only. So, cerebrohepatorenal syndrome. What made you think? I am here only. Don't worry. So, Zellweger syndrome cannot be the answer because in Zellweger syndrome, syn bilateral syndactyly is not seen. Now, what about Cornelia de Lange syndrome? Cornelia de Lange syndrome, important thing to remember. How to remember Cornelia de Lange syndrome? I will make a face like this. This is a child. And look at the eyes. This is, this is the eyebrow. Don't you think it is too bushy, which I have made? Very bushy eyebrow and joined with a line in the center and these are the eyes in the child and then this is the nose what are the abnormalities you can see they, you, they, there is fusion of there is bushy eyebrows i will label it here they have bushy eyebrows number one second there will be fusion of the eyebrows in the center we call it as sinophris sinophris and third, they will have wide, smooth philtrum. Wide, smooth philtrum. If you have this kind of face, the patient is likely having Cornelia de Lange syndrome. But again, in these patients, 
syndactyly is not described and so that is not the answer. So if you find any patient or any child like this in your OPD or you get a spotter image in the exam, only look at these options. Bushy eyebrows fusing in the center. Many of the, you know, uh, celebrities, many of the actors also have these bushy eyebrows joining in the center and wide smooth philtrum present in the patient along with hypotonia, low IQ, developmental delay. Which syndrome will you think of? Cornelia de Lange syndrome. Cornelia de Lange syndrome. Arhan Khan is saying, Kufia Khabar hai. Uh, tumhare, uh, Arhan, tumhare jo sources hai, bilkul bekaar hai, unko chhod do, unko phenk do. Because that is an incorrect news. I am very much a part of Dr. Torius. And so what are we left with? Eppert syndrome. And Eppert syndrome is the correct answer to this question. What is Eppert syndrome? Remember that Eppert syndrome is a syndrome which is characterized by a triad of three things. These patients have craniosynostosis. What is craniosynostosis? Premature fusion of the skull suture. Second thing, Eppert syndrome is having mid-face hypoplasia. Middle part of the face is hypoplastic and it has gone inside. It appears concave if you see laterally. And thirdly, they will be having bilateral syndactyly. Bilateral syndactyly, also called as mitten hands. This is Eppert syndrome. And out of these, Edward syndrome is a past MCQ. And Zellweger syndrome is also a past MCQ. Other two options have been a part of other options asked in FMG exam. And so you are supposed to remember them precisely. You may get a question on this. And that is why I have spent some time Then you need to add it to your notes, right? So this is syndactyly. Syndactyly photograph is also a past FMG MCQ. So we have discussed all the MCQs. And I know that two of these syndromes might be new for you. Please add them to the notes. Don't try to overdo them also. Let us...